We're gonna play instead. Yeah, this fucking game. I already covered this game in a separate video, but uh, I feel it does deserve its own stream, and I was considering this at some point. This is the Mario game that was so hard that it was never released outside of Japan. We're not even playing the Super Mario All Stars version. We're playing the full-on Japanese Famicom version, and uh, yeah, it's uh, I've beaten both versions before. Let's just say um, I've beaten this version maybe seven years ago. As we're going into 2024, so yeah, seven years ago. I've not beaten this since, and there, and I cannot beat this port without playing a specific trick, but uh. Yeah, you have the option to play Mario with Luigi instead of one two-player game because Luigi jumps higher, but it's harder traction. He's like really slippery, so we're just gonna go with Mario. Now, there's gonna be one trick we're gonna do if we're gonna have any hopes of beating this. Even though this unlimited continues, um, there's kind of a one-up trick that you can do in 1-1. One, one. Get this Koopa right on this platform right here, this brick right here on the right. Then jump, clear these bricks, and uh, when the coop is to the left. Now, we gotta get up to 120. We gotta get less than 128 lives, otherwise, it's gonna work. So, um, we fucked this up, so we gotta go do this over again. Yeah, uh, this. I'm a little rusty when it comes to this part, but uh, we're trying to see. You may call this cheating, but let's just say there are points where this game cheats in and of itself. Alright, so, um, let's just get the, like, let's get the Koopa trapped, and, uh, I, I fucked it up once again! <laughs> Watch me game over before I even get any fucking one-ups. Because now I'm already on my last life. Yeah, um... Alright, we're gonna get this to work, though. Alright, get the Koopa trapped like this, and... There we go. Now we gotta count by twos every time the one-up shows up. Alright, 5, 7, 9, 10, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23, 25, 27, 29, 31, 33, 35, 37, 39, 41, 43, 45, 47, 49, 50, 55, 57, 59, 61, 65, 69, 70. And yeah, we have like 80 something lives right now. So I'm gonna, now if you get over 100, if you get over 128 lives, you're in the negative and the next death's the game over. So I'm gonna die on purpose and test see if we did this right. All right, we did this right. So we should have good odds to beat the rest of this game. But um, yeah, you may call this cheating, but the game cheats in and of itself. But um, yeah, I believe, I'm just gonna demonstrate, but uh, this game has a uh, poison mushrooms, which uh, shrink you if you're big and kill you if you're small. Basically a beginner's trap. They put one in the first days. Now, um, the thing about the Japanese Mario 2 the Super Mario Bros. Lost Level is that, um, I don't think the first two worlds are really that hard, but they still don't really feel like the first two worlds of a Mario game. Like, the first two worlds are not that bad. Like, maybe in the first three. I'd say when you get to, like, World 5, that's when this game really starts getting unforgiving. This game does, this port does have an unlimited continues, but the problem is, if you die, if you continue, if you game over and continue, you have to start at the beginning of a world. So I think it's just easier to one-up trick. Is the sound mixing good? Let me just double check. Uh, I just gotta turn the game audio down. There we go. All right, so um, this is gonna be a little bit of an annoying jump. There we go. Yeah, I, it's crazy, because, like, there are people on Twitch that actually speedrun this uh, particular game, like, Cosmic. Like, let me just say clearly for the record, I'm not Cosmic level of skill when it comes to 2D Mario. Now, I'm trying to get rid of these bricks. There you go. You can cheat your way through this. I'm not taking any warps, because 
You need to actually get some, you need to actually uh, not use warps in order to actually get a star. Basically, we're just not doing warps. There are warps that basically, basically take you backwards, which uh, are there later in the game. Okay, so one, three, and this is, um, for some reason, like, knowing how this stage has, like, bloopers in the air and all that, I always thought this game felt more like a ROM hack, like, than an actually, like, release Mario game, because, like, um, it was, it's famous, the, the, it's a famous story that this was not released in America, pretty much because it was too, it was like the first game, except much harder, but basically, on top of that, like, um, I always thought this game kind of felt like ROM hack, like, like, I don't know, it just doesn't really seem like something like Nintendo would have made, at least in my opinion, but um, but they made it, but um, yeah, I think, honestly, I think it was for the better that we got the American Mario 2, because um, let's be real, like, video games were still like on the recovery from a mass, from like the biggest crash in gaming history when Mario 1 dropped, so it would not have been a wise marketing strategy if they'd released this game in America, like, uh, so, uh, yeah, cause like, um, even Mario 1 was like revolutionary for its time, but it was also like, players had to adjust to that, so imagine like, them trying to play this. Oh shit. There we go. World one beaten without even dying, actually. World two and um. There's a little bit of cryptic stuff in World two, but uh. It's not, I, again, the first two worlds aren't really that bad. That was a hidden block. And I like how the springs in this game, they march like a bajillion feet in the air. Now let's go to coin heaven. Not if we can get hit by a. Uh, okay. Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm lucky I didn't get hit by the Koopa. I don't get to go to Coin Heaven. More springs that bounce us like 20 feet in the air, or hundreds of feet in the air. There's a hidden one up over here. We're gonna need that. We're gonna need all the lives, basically, we can. All right, two, two. This is uh, this is the stage where basically uh, this is the stage where I'm trying to say we uh, we have to uh, use the hidden blocks. I'm not even sure how long it's gonna take to beat this. I think it's gonna take like maybe in, depends on how how much we die in the later worlds. Cause like, if you're a skilled player of this, you could definitely beat this in probably a half an hour, like you can with Mario 1, but maybe not, as, maybe a little bit longer than you can with Mario 1, but um... Yeah, this is the part, uh, try to get to see if you would figure this out. Hit the, get this hidden block right here, and then jump on the hidden block if we can fucking land on it. And then, hold on, get that hidden block right there, and then jump on the pipe. Like, who in their right mind is going to figure that out? I don't know. Alright, here we go, here we go, yes! Alright, 
2-3. I almost ran right into the Koopa as well, looking at the stream. Yeah, I, I, I avoided the... I got I can... I, I, oh my god. Can I speed through this? Okay, go, go, go. Yes! I was able to speed through that level like no problem. Oh, I am so clipping that. Yes, four. This is the second castle, but um, I've had it happen before where I like mistime the fall, so I just, I've died on that platform. We don't need that flower. Jet. We were fully armored, so... Can't go back and get that mushroom, though. Or that flower. There we go, world two beaten. I've not died a single time in the normal run. Like, I expected, like... Cause like, um, when I did this for, uh, when I did that separate video a year ago, like I basically died like hell on this. But don't worry, this game's gonna get a fuck ton harder and you're gonna, I run straight to a hammer, brother. Yeah. The, uh, this ain't easy, let's just say. There's a mushroom in one of these blocks, but, um, Oh, there we go. Run like hell. Like the Pink Floyd song. On the wall. You know, like, I do appreciate the wall, even though it's not really... I like Pink Floyd and all that. Like, um, I do appreciate the wall, even though it's not really one of my favorite albums. Especially after Doug Watcher, Walker fucking butchered that. Like, um... I don't know. It's like... It's an album I can appreciate more in concept than execution, I'd say. Even though there are some damn good songs on that album. By the way, if you jump over the flag, basically, uh, and run to the right, you'll basically go to the backwards warp zone. But there's a backwards warp zone in 3-1. Alrighty, so this is the first thing under wild levels. Again, just swim like hell if you're, uh... We're just gonna swim like hell because we're small, and, um... On. Get away from the enemies. Just get out of the current. Let's just rush our way through the stage. Get out of the current, get out of the current. Get oh, fuck! We were at the end! We were at the end of that. We were at the end of that stage and we died. I hit the wall and then hit the blooper, but um, let's see at the top. Shit. There we go. There we go. And we got some fireworks. Nice. I'm gonna reach out and get grab some water but the level there lives, but um anyway, so I almost tied to that Koopa right there. This is, I think this is this is the stage where they start taking some. This could be the stage where start. I think I might be thinking of four three. Okay, I almost landed around. Ah, uh, yeah. 
we're doing very smoothly for someone who is not fond of lost levels. Maybe I'm just good at Mario, period. We might even, we might, I, 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 I I'm gonna take that back. We needed to do the one-up trick for the later portion of this game. Now, I don't remember the way through this. All the way through? I don't know. I don't remember the way through this. It's, um... Actually, it was down all the way through, so you have to hit these blocks. Now I remember. One coin away from a one-up. Even though there aren't any coins left on the stage, but we're at Bowser. There we go, World 3 beaten. This might be a shorter. Sh I take that back. We're gonna start dying in the later worlds. I guess maybe a factor is that a 2D Mario just dropped and we died right there. Yeah, those, those the red springs don't bounce you like 50 feet in the air. Give me a give me a mushroom. Give me a mushroom. There we go. Well, we got a, we got the one up we lost, but um, there we go. Come on, get out of there! Shit, shit, shit! shit. All right, there we go. Yeah, the red prana plants basically go faster, but a uh, fuck. I almost I think I even died of the goomba, but um. Mushroom, and they're, they're more bullet bills. Well, the the first of the bullet bills. Get the star. Yes. There we go. We're just gonna rush away through this level. Kill the Lakitu. Yes. Die, Lakitu. Shit. Oh yeah. I this run is going smoothly. I'm not like. Don't worry, I think World 5 is when this game starts to get really unforgiving because it introduces the windstorms and all that. And I'm completely like pulling out of my I'm like, this could be a run I could be like pulling out of my ass. Like this could be a less than an hour long stream. But I do want to meet the hour mark. Fuck, that was the first leap of fates. That was the leap of faith I was thinking of in 3 3. Get the flower. And I didn't know if I was going to make that jump, but thank God I did. Oh, fuck. I damage boosted my way to that platform. Oh, shit. Bullet bills. Bullet bills aren't friendly. No. 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 Yes! Going through these stages like crazy. Like I'm normally not this good at this game. <laughs> All right. This castle is a little bit of a pain in the ass, but um, that's yeah, the long fire stretches, fire bars. Yeah, let's get the Koopas out of the way. Get, okay, thank you. Get, get out of the way, Hammer Brother. All right, good. You have to go down the middle, I think. Okay, there's a mushroom. Let's get it. That'll give us an extra hit. Shit. There we go. There we 
There we go. Roll four beaten. We're already halfway through the game. Five dash one. And I get hit to the red piranha plant. And here's when the de the fail count starts. All right, I'm just making sure all my settings are, uh, you always want to do that before stream, but uh, sometimes you forget. through all my lives in world eight. Oh, wait, what's down here? All right, a coin bonus. And yeah, this is the windstorm where you have to time your jumps correctly. I hate, the windstorms get pretty annoying in the later stages. Oh shit, buzz wheels don't hit piranha plants. Oh, I got a one, and I died immediately. <laughs> I was at the end of the stage too, I think. Yeah, I was, no wait, no it wasn't. This is the end of the stage. You have to get more hidden block bullshit. This. And 5 1 beaten. And, I th and this is an underground section. Yeah, it is. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of red piranha plants later in the game. And deaths. I think I've never actually played the game. But I've heard them like uh. Super Mario Bros. Deluxe, you can unlock Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels, and that's not a very, that's not even like the best port of Super Mario Bros. because it's all crunchy and all that, so imagine playing Lost Level with the crunchy screen and all that. Getting a mushroom, I'm getting a mushroom, I'm not getting a mushroom. I sworn there was a mushroom on these blocks. No, there isn't. Get. Go. Are we to the prom gets out of the way? Yes. There we go. Yes. There we go. There we go. Alright, 5 3. Oh, yeah, this is when you have to enter the pipe. You have to jump off these parachutes first of all and die in the process. But you do have to reach that pipe. Here we go. Go down. Think we get a one up? No. No to one ups for us. But yeah, this is a. Uh... Shit. Shit. Oh shit. Yeah. This is when the game. This is when the game really starts to get hard. Oh, 
But we beat the stage. We had a couple of close calls, but we beat the stage. Watch me get this game done in like less than an hour. Cause this is a really hard game. It's also not, it's not just a hard game. It's like a badly designed hard game. Like you don't know what the hazards are, like unless you've played this before, which uh, last time I played this was last year when I made that video. So I played this fair, relatively recently, I guess. This is an awful stage. I remember this now. This is what I meant earlier in the stream when I said we're going to be blowing all of our lives in the later worlds. I know there's a mushroom in that block, but I don't really find it worth getting. Yeah, this stage is a pain in the ass. Sorry for the lack of commentary. I'm really trying to focus on being this level. I, I, I pretty much said earlier, World 5 is where this game starts to get brutal. We got a one up. Go, go low. Oh wait, that's a bad, bad position. All right, jump, jump, up. Avoid the fire bar. Yes. Get. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let some of the screen scroll like that. Oh shit, I landed on the fucking fire! Imagine if we didn't do the one-up trick. Like that. That yeah, we might be, uh, I don't think we're running too low on lives. I got like 80 something when I did the one-up trick. I really gotta concentrate, see if I can get back to where we are. See, if, if this were a playthrough on my YouTube channel, I would just cut out all the failed attempts, which would be a lot of them. Right, we now know to go to the upper platform. Let the screen scroll like last time. Oh shit, okay, we're done, finally. We're done with world five. God, it was a horrible level. World six one. I think there's a mushroom, yeah, is there a mushroom? There is. Get away from the hammer, brother. I forgot. Sometimes I just forget these levels. Like, you have to really be dedicated if you want to be, like, cosmic and you can speedrun this. Like, dying to a hammer brother right there. Yeah, there's a lot of fucking hammer brothers the later portion of this game. I, I got an idea. 
idea. I got an idea. Not what I was planning. Got an idea. At least I've dodged the hammer, brother. God, some of these jumps are fucking terrible, I should say. Then we're gonna get sandwiched by a bunch of piranha plants. Okay, they both went. More windstorm bullshit. Oh shit, oh shit! Oh, yeah, w okay, the windstorm's gone. I don't care if I take damage, as long as the stage is over with. Alright, 6-2. Alright, another water level. Um, watching well, this water level, it's like it's not like Mario One where both the water levels are identical in design. Yeah, these two are unique. It, there's Koopas underwater. Again, this feels like a ROM hack, not like an an, an actual Nintendo game. Out of the currents, get out of the currents, get out of the currents. So there we go, there we go, there we go. Did we do this in one? We did this in one try, and we didn't do the other one in one try. As long as we have made progress. Let's just rush our way through this. No. Let's not rush our way through this. All right, we have to bounce off the Koopa and get a mushroom like and I, that I miss. That's the sign we start running. We're starting to run out of lives, which we better not start running out of lives because we have two more worlds left. It's pretty much either I beat this or run out of lives. I have an extra hit. There's so many fucking enemies on the screen. As long as I beat the level. Fortunately though, I don't have fireballs for the next castle. There we go. Here we go. How bad this one is. Oh, I have to go the normal way. That's the, I know that's the wrong way. It's just I have to. Uh, I had to dodge the hammer, brother. Fuck you. Hammer really jumped at the same time I did. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Get up, get up. That's the way we have to go. Can you not, like, prevent the uh, red plant plants? I don't think you can. You have to literally be on the pipes. Because when you're next to piranha plants on the pipe, when you're next to pipes, piranha plants won't go up. It's not the case with the red piranhas.
Alright, get over there. No! Okay, we almost we almost had it. Yeah, we almost fell out in the lava. The fireballs are out of the way. Oh, shit! Oh wait, hammer brothers, hammers. Here we go. We're done with world six. We're done with world six. Interesting how this is going smoothly for a Lost Levels run. Yeah, World 7 is brutal. A lot of wind. 7-3 especially. And look at Mario's even dying along with the wind. here what's a coin bonus not risking those coins and more more wind because why the hell not I think we had to have gone that gone in that pipe oh wait ham brother Was a great escape. Not, nah, I take that back. Uh, I'm hoping I don't run out of lives. Let's have a checkpoint. Ah, uh, now these hammers are running toward us. Ah, uh, yeah, that's we have twenty exactly twenty six lives left. So it's either we beat it's either we beat this game or run out of lives. We're gonna blow all. We're gonna blow through all our lives. We can't go back on that pipe. It's either we beat this or we run out of lives, whatever comes first. The fourth thing, we're in the 20s range when it comes to lives, I think. Yeah, I think we have like 20 lives left. This is another stage you have to bounce off Koopa Troopas, I think. And we missed the jump, so we have to do this over again. Get a flower. Actually, we can just uh, yeah, well, well it'd, it'd be next to impossible to get that flower. All right, there we go. In the pipe, I'm gonna try to see if I can get a one up because we're gonna need any extra lives we can get, knowing how we're almost out of them. Five coins short. Shit. Hey, get rid of these. I don't know why they're. Again, feels like a ROM hack, not something Nintendo would make. Oh, we have to. We have to bounce off that paratrooper. Uh. 
right, we're out of the stage. We've made progress. Uh, that's, we have essentially six more levels. Oh yeah, this stage is horrible. This is the one you have to time your landing. In, in Super Mario World, in, in World A through D, C3 is even worse. Well, unlocking A through D in the Famicom in this version is also a pain in the ass because, um, believe it or not, you have to beat the game eight times without using warps. And to get A through D when you've done that, you have to press A and start. I'm just getting that mushroom. All right. Hey, I'm really taking my time because we could really well run out of lives. But it looks like I'm on a roll so far. Shouldn't take that back. I'll take the extra life. Jet. Oh shit, am I gonna do this in one try? Oh my god, I almost didn't miss that jump, but I did that stage in one try, holy shit. We might actually beat this. Because we have like 20 opportunities to get through, uh, get through five levels, so yeah, we might actually beat this. I think there's, yeah, there's a hidden flower, we're gonna need that. This is, this is stupid game design. You have to duck in the corner, and that's how you can get out of this area. And I get a hit. I get hit anyway. And, the, and C4 it's even worse because uh, you have to. Uh, there's platforms. Shit! I almost died right there. Shit! Oh shit! All right. No, 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 no! Didn't save myself. All right, there we go. We can, we can do this. We're gonna beat this. We just have four more levels, and we have twenty attempts to beat them. Get a mushroom. We need one. There we go. More windstorms, because why the hell not? This isn't. It wouldn't be more Super Mario's Lost Levels without the windstorms. Don't play this game. I said this last year, but just don't play this game. You have to take a leap of faith, but uh, at least I did that properly. Oh no, no! Okay, that was close. Oh, I died anyway. I think I have an idea how I'm gonna get out of this level. I'm gonna get that mushroom and have that early hit advantage, that extra hit advantage. I'm we go. There we go. One, two, three. And, oh, thank God. Alright, take our time in this area. We're not doing... Alright. Our time in this area, and there we go. 
There we go. Three more levels. We got this. We're gonna beat this. We got this. Ready, dash two. This is the one you have to jump on the paratroop, I remember, and I die immediately because I jumped too early. Alright, we got a mushroom at least. We're gonna need that. And we lose it immediately. More windstorms. Just three more levels. Well, I think we can do this in 20 with 20 lives. Not do that. Right, we have to kind of time this jump. Except we fucked it up, so we have to endure Hammer Brothers. We still have to go. We still have to go do this over because we didn't do that properly. It's gonna take us back to the beginning. Back to the windstorm area. We have to. There we go. There we go. We got this. There we go. Two more levels and we're going to beat this game. Right. Oh yeah, this stage is horrible. A lot of the stages in this game are horrible, I should say. Cuz it's not just hard, it's not hard for like a fun reason, it's hard because of a lot of bad game design. I should have, I really, I tried to use that in those two hammer rows, but I fucked up the time. <laughs> I ain't land on the platform though. Watch me blow all my lives in these last two levels. Cause like world eight four is a pain in the ass. So I need all my lives re reserved for that level. Missing that jump. We have, we have a little bit of lives. I believe with the lives we have, we can get through two levels. Yeah, I keep, I keep, the problem is I keep mistiming that spring. Shit. Well, I, I jumped that in time. Oh, thank God for that star. I need that. I almost missed that jump, though. Good. Okay. I'm... I am really need to time this jump. I really hope I didn't let the screen scroll too far. the screen scroll too far. I let, I let the screen scroll too far. Can I, ju can I jump and steer? Alright, we got, we can get up there. Got this. No, we don't got this. No, 
No! We were at the end. We were at the very end of the stage. I just didn't put that up and I didn't put that up high enough. Yet. We're gonna lose all our fucking lives. I just know it. I was at the end of that stage, so, um... It can be doable. How many fucking times am I gonna die in this level? Now I know not to use the. Sp it's like I'm losing my touch with this level after I almost made it to the end. It's like that mentality, like when you start when you when you're starting to play worse because you're playing the same level over and over and over again. I think there's a hidden mushroom in this level, but I don't remember where it is. Where's the star? We need that. Not when we time jumps too early. I can't time that spring for the life of me. Here we go. A star. All right, we got it. All right, we didn't t jump too low. Last stage, let's fucking go. This is the last stage. And this one's a bitch. I, didn't, I remember this. I even died the first screen. Oh, it's either we beat this level or we run out of lives. Whatever comes first. Every time I play through this, it's like, don't ask me to play this game again. It's for a reason. Like that. That was me rushing it. All right, we're gonna... I wanna make it at least in the next section. There's a bit of level in this. There's a bit of... There's a bit in this level. Law in this level is a man. You have to jump off this paratroopa, and I know we have to go to the pipe below us. Water section, because why the hell not? I don't. Even, I think there's a. I think there's a couple power ups in this level, and we're gonna need them. We are gonna totally need these power-ups. All right, get this over here. We gotta time the jump first of all, and I timed the jump, but I got, but I uh, got a hit. I took a hit. There goes that mushroom we had. I don't remember which pipe. Oh fuck! 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 No, 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 no. I am not game overing. I am not game overing. I am game overing. We haven't even made it to like this. We made it to the second half once. Wait, did that 
Yeah. You gotta wait till both the fireball goes, and you gotta wait till the things go. Go. Christ, this stage is a pain. I just want to end this stream. I'm gonna, if I run out of lives, it's stream over. We're not seeing World 9. I'm not playing more of this if I end up running out of lives. Right, get in the water, get out of the water level, or get in the water section. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to get this over with. Mushroom. We have to wait till that goes. We at least we get an extra hit. At least, thank God I had that extra hit. Okay, did I do this right? Yes, I did. I think I did this right. Okay, wait, do these Koopas get out of the way? All right, there's another mushroom, and we're gonna need that. Fortunately, I don't get fireballs, though. Oh, shit. Right, there's Bowser. No! We were right at the end of the stage. about that, uh, hit. I didn't even know about the hidden block. But we were right at the end of the stage. <laughs> Mushroom, there we go. How many fucking times are we gonna die in this level? Wait a minute, we're, we're starting to run out of lives. So it's either we beat this level or run out of lives. If we run out of lives, I'm ending the stream. Let's just say that. Either we beat this level or we run out of lives. Whatever comes first. Mushroom. Can you imagine if this game got released in America? All right, uh, avoid the hidden poison. Avoid that. an extra hit. The Koopas get out of the way. We did this right. Get. Oh no, I forgot to get the mushroom. No. What we have to do this was we have to do the small. 
They gotta get past Decoy Bowser. There we go! Yes! Finally! And get ready for a stupid ending, by the way. Especially in the mainly this version, stupid ending. Ah, uh, yes. Here we go. Peace is paved with kingdom saved. Hurrah to Mario! Only hero this sends your trip of a long friendship. That is not good poetry. And it gets one thousand, a hundred thousand for each player left. Each to remain lives. That is a lame ending for such a hard game. It looks like we had maybe like 20 more attempts at this. It looks like we had 20 something more attempts at this. And I guess we can go through World 9. And we present Fantasy World for our World 1 game. We get one life to do all this. Let's see how far we get. Well, this is a water section. I think this is actually a... Uh, I think these levels are considerably easier than World 8, but um, we'll see where we go from here. I think there's a stage message that says thank you in Japanese, but um, yeah, it's kind of like a post game, which I'll give it for that. I'll give it that. In 1986, it was not it, post game for not a thing. And we got through 9-1. We got through all the world now. I think it loops after you beat 9-4. 2. Alright, Lakitu is underwater. one up if you get just enough coins. We don't even have anywhere near enough coins. And three. Oh, it's a castle. And did I do this wrong? We got we got we got a vine. Of how I'm like, I'm 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 a, I'm a can I get on this damn vine? Here we go. That was a little weird glitch. And then, uh, let's just, uh, I think there's a decoy Bowser in this level, so let's just go up. And let's just skip all the levels, there's that decoy Bowser. Feels a lot like minus one in Super Mario, in, the, in like the original Super Mario Brothers, but, uh, nine four, let's do this. Do all the levels and then die on purpose. Or we'll die right here. Anyway, so you are a super player. We'll hope you see you again, Mario and staff. Oh, that was Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels. And yeah, um, one last thing before we end the stream is that, uh, each time you beat the game, a star is added on your pro your profile. Like, um, 
the tile screen and like you have to beat the game eight times if you get eight stars. If you beat the game by using Warp TSR, so if you do it eight times, you get to play Worlds A through D. So I'm like, fuck that. And like, I've never unlocked it. So like, yeah, that's Super Mario Bros. Lost Levels. We'll see you guys next time.